All right, guys, let's talk about this really quick video. No jokes, because people are losing their mind over this post, this 4chan post right here. Uh, they're saying Bitcoin's going to 25K. And look, I'm not saying it's not going to 25K, but I'm making this video because you've got to know how to think, because you're going to get played if you don't understand how to play this game of chess. So let's look at this really quickly. Because I don't think this is true, but the thought exercise that we're going to do right here is going to be super helpful to you. And the lack of foresight I see in people to actually think three or four steps ahead is quite bad if you want to catch what whales are going to do and you want to see how people think in this market. You need to know how people think. And if you're new to crypto or you're new to how people fiduzle each other, you need to think about this. Okay, so let's look at the situation right here. We had, and just an FYI, I posted this all on Twitter uh, a while ago, if you want to see what I'm thinking way before when I make these videos, you should follow me at CSS Becker. Overall, the trolling is just hilarious. That's really why you should follow me there. But if you want to see stuff earlier, follow me there because it's easier for me to tweet than make a YouTube video, obviously. <clears throat> and for all intents and purposes, let's imagine this is true right here. Okay, so let's use our damn heads for two seconds. So this first post right here, I'm sure everybody's seen it. Uh, basically, this guy posted exactly when there was going to be that dump to 30K. He released that they're working with China. Everybody's seen this and it, and it went down, went absolutely nuts. And everybody was pointing out this post because he predicted the exact time, the drop, everything. So let's imagine this is true. Why would whales post this? Why would someone who is a whale post this uh, information? for the first time. Well, basically because no one was going to read this. This thing got zero attention till after the matter. So it was completely safe to post this information. And again, let's imagine for all intents and purposes, this is true. It was completely safe to post this information because no one's gonna read this. They're just gonna see another conspiracy theory bogus thing. So no one, so posting this was harmless and it was in fact a move for the next move. Why would you post this? So that after the fact, you can go and start spreading this in the media. You can start spreading this through social media and you can start having this as ammunition to make people behave the way you want them next time. Okay, everybody thought last time they were getting super bullish and they thought we were gonna go to 38K and bounce. So what happened? The exact opposite of what everybody thought. We went the 38K and plummeted the 30K. So, and how did people lose money? You have to think about this because you have to understand what whales do or what smart traders do is they make people take shorts when they're gonna go long or when the market's gonna go long and they make people go long when they're gonna take shorts. Everybody wants super long and use leverage to bet that 38K was the low and we'd bounce back up. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. The entire market thought that, was, that would happen and no one was reading this. So what happened? They liquidated all the longs made a sh so much money. They liquid their longs, it went down, they bought at 30K, bounced back up to where it is right now. So now they have this post right here, the same person posting, uh, and they know people are gonna watch it. So what, what do you think they think people are gonna do that read this, that believe this stuff right here? What do you think the market's gonna do? Because they think the market's idiots. In fact, the market is idiots. They just made a ton of money nuking all the Dogecoin idiots and the people that were overly bullish. So what do you think they're gonna think people are gonna do? They're going to think people are going to short. Why would they post this again right here? They're going to post this right here to make people do what they want them to do. Okay? There's no way, they, there's no way if they were doing the opposite, they'd let this get spread on social media and the media. There's no way they'd let this trend. So right here, this post right here says long day and approximately two hours of sleep. Uh, we're, going to short, we're, going to, we're going to short Bitcoin. 25K is the current target. It's going to start at 7 a.m. UTC and gradually drop to 35K. So if you were the whale who posted this, controlling this, what, is, what would you think people would do? What are people going to do? It is going to drop to 35K and then people are going to take mega shorts that it's going to go to 30,000. That's what people will do. Okay, that's what the market is thinking right now. The market thinks we're going to dip again and they think we're going to go down to 35K. And then they think we're going to go to 30,000. So if you're a whale and you want to make maximum gains, how are you going to make maximum gains? Are you going to do it by doing what everybody else in the market is doing? If everybody shorts and you short too, you don't make any money and everybody else makes tons of money. You have to understand crypto, whales and people make money when other people lose money. All trading is, is money being exchanged to people. Okay, and so when something goes down, and people make money on the shorts, it means the people that were long lost money. And when something goes up against the shorts, that means the people that bet on the shorts, they lost money and the people that went long made money. So in order to extract money from the people that are short or make the max amount of gains, they need to get people to go short and then they go hyper long. 
That's how you make money. It's a fadoozle. It's a fadazzle. They got to get people to think it's going this way, then do the opposite. So for example, if everybody thought the market was going to 30K, everybody would have dumped before them and they would have been stuck up here and had to be selling at 30K or have to wait for it to go back up. Then they'd be in a bad position. Okay. So if everybody's short right now, and everybody believes it's going to go short and they go short too. They're not going to make maximum gains. That's not how it works. So why would you put this information out on the marketplace? What I would think they would do, because they know everybody's fucking stupid, stupid as hell. Uh, what I would do if I was to whale is I would triangle drop it exactly to 35K. Everybody takes out their shorts expecting 30K and then go gig along. Just hyper pump it. They would liquidate all the shorts and make so much money. That's how whales think. That's how smart people think. That's how smart traders think. Okay. So what are my thoughts on this? I think it's nonsense, but in the case it isn't nonsense, that is what I would predict they would do. They're going to be moving three moves ahead of people. Okay. They're going to post something beforehand that no one's going to read. Then when it gains tons of attention and people start believing in it, people start getting afraid of it. They're going to use it again to make you do something. And then they're going to do the opposite of what you think is it's going to do. That's it's such a basic way to make tons of money. Okay? They only make money when they trick you. Okay. Whales don't move in the way you think they're going to move or they're not going to make money. They only make money when you get tricked. This is a hell of a trick. So I don't think this is true. I don't think we're going to 25K. I'm not saying we're not going to 25K, but if this is somewhat true, they're going to do the opposite. And so again, I don't, I don't think we should take this post seriously. I don't think this is confirmation. We're going to go to 35K and then giga pump. I just think you need to do this thought exercise right here. And this is how you need to think about people. This is how you need to think about whales. And this is how you need to think about when you're dealing with smart people whose goal is to trick you. Okay. In most walks of life, people's goal is not to trick you. Smart people are going to make money by making money with you. But in the goal of the marketplace, when we're playing chess against each other, when we're playing a game of chicken, the goal is to trick you. It's, they're not going to do what you want them to do. They're going to do the opposite and that's how they make money, right? You don't make money. If everybody thought Bitcoin was going up, it would be at a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars right now. And we couldn't make money. The reason it is at $40,000 or $35,000 is because people don't think it's going to go up. Okay. The way we make money is by betting against the entire world. The reason the entire world hasn't invested in Bitcoin is because they don't think it's going to 500,000. So we make money by betting against them. That is all trading is. It's betting against what other people think. The vast majority of the world doesn't appreciate crypto right now. We appreciate it and we think that they're going to appreciate it. So we're going to make money by getting in before them. This is, this is very simple stuff right here. And I'm, I'm probably repeating something that everybody knows, but a lot of people don't understand this about trading. So the second the world actually agrees with us that crypto is valuable, crypto is going to become so valuable and become like Amazon where you can't make much money because you're not betting against other people. Okay. Amazon, you can't make much money in because everybody agrees Amazon's valuable. As soon as everybody agrees uh, crypto is valuable, it's not going to be valuable. And the way you'll make money is when crypto crashes and saying, you know what? Crypto's not valuable. And the whole world going, oh no, it's valuable. It's valuable pumping up the price and then you selling and everybody going, oh wait, it's not valuable. And then you, then, then you make all your money. All right. You get people to buy an overvalued asset and you bet against it. So that's it guys. You, you should, I don't think we should pay attention to this price or this, this post right here, but I see so many people using this. And if you just use chess, like thinking here, and the, the reason why I wanted to make this is because people are failing to, you're, you're failing to play the game of chess. And if you think like this, it's going to help you in life. It's going to help you in trading. And I think it's going to help you not get fiddled by people because this is how smart people operate. Okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just my general thoughts on this and a fun exercise to help you think a little bit clearer on how people behave in this marketplace and just overall fun to talk about. So I'll see you next video.